contribution, Colin. I'd now like to ask Mohammed Shafiq from PP PCS to make a contribution. Mohammed. Uh, President, Congress, Mohammed Shafiq, on behalf of PCS Union, proudly supporting the statement by the General Counsel. Now, we gather virtually at an extraordinary moment for black workers and communities, dealing with the twin challenges of COVID-19 and Black Lives protest. Now, as the statement set out, Public Health England has said black and minority ethnic communities are twice as likely to die from COVID-19. We've seen so many die these past few months. So we send our condolences, prayers and love to all those affected. In the public sector, PCS Union has led the campaign to ensure that BME staff in job centres have a opportunity to have a BME risk assessment. We force management to support safer home working and are pushing back at the political decisions that are being made to get people back to the workplace, even with the positive rate going up across the country. We as a union will put the interest of our black members at the forefront of all our campaigns. I'm so proud that my union, PCS, has always been at the front line of the campaign against racism. And we look forward to working with colleagues across the trade union movement. Now, the murder of George Floyd has galvanized people to say enough is enough. And PCS union stands with black communities as we together campaign to end institutional racism and expose the barriers to equality. The list of black people being killed at the hands of the very forces that should be protecting them has been ignored for too long. We're here at the TUC and across our unions have been talking about these issues, raising them in our workplaces and with our elected politicians, but some, for political reasons, have refused to listen to us. Well, we will not stop raising our voices and we will win. As colleagues have already said, Data and the evidence is clear. What we now require is lasting change to make our societies truly equal. This means dismantling the systems that have amplified colonialism and ignored the structural barriers to eradicating racism. You cannot have a truly equal society until black workers feel safe, have the right opportunities as everyone else. And this requires all of us to self-reflect on our language, our behavior and outlooks towards black communities. Our union, PCS, is proud that we have a vice president who is black, Zita Holborn, a total of four NEC members who are black. But this is not enough until our leadership and unions are reflective of our wider society and membership. That's why PCS, as part of its work in coming years, has made tackling underrepresentation a key priority. Now, finally, the struggle, President, against racism is enshrined in the values of our trade unions. So let the voice go out from this TUC Congress virtually that we stand together against racism. We reject the division and hate peddled by some politicians and those in the media. Congress, please support the statement and thank you for listening. Well done, Mohammed. Up next, we have.